Hey, it's Marilyn, and I'm going to get started by creating my top. It's going to be in the shape of a bat, and I wanted to do something a little more custom for the festival. We're going to Cruel World, and I actually didn't do an intro or outro or anything for this video. It was a very chaotic festival, and I wanted to make sure that everyone that didn't get to see Susie knew that they were being accommodating and offering refunds. So if you're seeing this and didn't get to go, you are able to at least get some of your money back. I was not expecting to get thrown into a two-day festival, so I didn't film too much the second day, but I really went in on this first look and I still wanted to share because I was able to go both days and I know a lot of people weren't able to make it and that was just really sad to me. I know personally people that weren't able to go, so I wanted to share my experience and show you a few clips just in case you missed out. This shirt is made really poorly, but that's kind of the look I'm going for. It's just my old backdrop and a t-shirt. I'm using the scraps from the bottom hem as straps. I recently thrifted this skirt and it's pretty much like my dream skirt, except I want to cover up the stones. It doesn't really match the look that I'm going for. So I'm just patching over it with a swatch of that same backdrop fabric and some safety pins. And here's my little fitting the night before. I didn't end up liking the head part of the bat on my chest, so I just cut it off. I wanted to make room for this gorgeous choker, and actually, if you look closely at the latest Orat single, this is the actual one that Dee wore. I got to style them and take photos for that cover. They're opening for Cruel World, and since I'm going mainly for them and Suzy, I wanted to wear it. I'll put the name of the brand on the screen. Also, I made these little teardrops for the makeup. And before we get into that, please make sure to like this video and leave some comments for me and subscribe to my channel as well. You can follow me on all of my social media at Marilyn Mugbeat on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter as well. Good morning. I am literally in such a rush right now. I have like 45 minutes to do my makeup before I have to leave. So I didn't put on my nails. I'll make sure to enter a clip of them here. Today we're going to Cruel World and my bestie Azika is opening with her band Orat. So I have to get there like really early. Of course the two people I care to see are in the very beginning and at the very end. Today I'm gonna see Suzy Sue. So let me hurry up. I feel kind of bad because I love like doing the whole fantasy, but it's too early and I'm usually a morning person, but not today. I got a really awful sunburn on my chest, so I'm just going to cover that up with some sunscreen. And I know in a lot of my videos, I do my eyebrows in like one swipe and it looks so flawless. Sometimes it is real, but most of the time, like, I have to still go in and clean them up, so... Whatever brows come out today is what we're getting. I don't want to go looking busted to the festival, so I'll probably end up cleaning them in the car. But I'm going to try to do as much as I can and not get stressed out because I am going to have fun today. There's my alarm saying that I need to be done. <laughs> That is so embarrassing, okay. I do want to be very comfortable but still like obviously serve my look. So I'm mainly going to be focusing on going in with as little product as possible. I'm kind of learning how to work with foundations that have SPF in them. But I'm just scared to get it around my eye so I'm going to go straight in with this white concealer. I'm going to be putting a whole bunch of like different colors of blush and stuff on my forehead. So this is going to be a good base for that. And if my makeup does look cakey, like right here, oh my goodness, my skin is peeling. I have a really bad sunburn, like I said, even got onto my face and my forehead up here. I don't want to spend too much time on the skin. So I'm just going in with a little bit of foundation over the edges of this, where my sunburn is. A little bit on my nose. I'm going to clean this up later more with just like powder, but since I am going to be wearing this makeup all day, I am making sure to go through with every step with, with some setting spray. That one is by Kimchi. The powder I'm taking with me later today to set all of this throughout the day is the Virgin 
a manic panic. So I'm just going to pack that and leave it for later. I don't have too much time to be doing work with eyeshadows, so I'm just going to blast on a whole bunch of blush. This is my favorite blush. It's like a really mauve toned, deepened red. It matches my outfit perfectly. I'm also going to put some of that on my knee. I love doing this little detail. I feel like a little doll. My outfit is really spooky ooky. Like I feel like I have enough goth in the outfit. So I'm just trying to keep the makeup really like, comfortable and light. I do my best brows with this pen liner actually. It's the NYX Epic Ink one. But it, mine is always broken, so hopefully it's not leaky. Ooh, even better, it's like a little bit dried out. Look at that. I just have to thicken up the front. This is exactly the type of day that I needed. <laughs> okay, I have literally 30 minutes now so i'm gonna clean them up with the white concealer and just slap on some eyeshadow and honestly this is gonna be my last festival that i go to i wanted to enjoy it but hopefully it doesn't go like this for the rest of the day i just went to sick new world and pretty much saw everyone that i ever wanted to at this point i've been going to concerts since i was 12. i was only sad about missing Vail from him at the festival, but I literally saw him when I was like 18. For eyeshadow primer, I've been testing out a whole bunch of different ones and I've been loving this uh, Profusion one. It's called the No Budge Eyeshadow Primer. It works just as good as like my high-end ones. And it's the cheapest that I found. It's only like $3. I feel like Profusion is now what like e.l.f. used to be back in the day for me, like how they had $1 makeup. I don't think I've seen that even like at the dollar store. When I need something that I can rely on for eyeshadows though, I need to use my sugar pill ones. You can tell by this white one. It's honestly like the best face powder, but I haven't tried out this new formula of the Love Plus Red. This is my old messed up red one. I use it all the time and not even pan on that one. This one is just like that because I use it on my face, but this is the new one with the vegan formula. Ooh, it has a lot of kickback. I don't know if it's just my brush. But I'm literally just going to slap it on. I'm leaving the middle space kind of empty just for some gold eyeshadow. And winging it out to keep in with that super like lifted look. I really love these eyeshadows because they have a really dry formula. Like I even use it in my eyebrows and I have greasy skin and it doesn't get smeared or messy because I feel like it kind of absorbs any of that, if that makes sense. That sounds weird. I don't want to be worrying about my under eyes smudging or anything. Since I don't have time to do anything super precise, I'm layering on a whole bunch of black pencil. This one is by LA Girl. It's probably my favorite. It's, it's those shockwave neon ones. And I'm really just smoking it out. I love a messy under eye. And it's going to look really cute once I start putting all of the stones over it. And this gold that I'm using is the Goldie Lux Powder by Sugar Pill. It's probably one of the most gorgeous golds. I'll be applying it using the Maron Mixing Liquid. This is also just going to make it last all day. That liquid makes it almost as a liner, so I'm just using a fluffy brush to blend out the edges. I only want it really crisp on the top. Okay, I'm just gonna go stick a whole bunch of stuff on my face. These are the Rockstar Lashes by Glam Goth Beauty. And I'm obsessed with these glitters by Fire Vixen. They're just little crosses. This is the gold one in Lagrimas de Oro. This is not bad at all for 30 minutes. I have five minutes left, so I'm just gonna throw a whole bunch of glitter on from this Love of Sin palette. This is very much the vibe for today. I'm just doing some final touches to the eyes. And for the lip, I want to do kind of like also a gold lip. I don't have any gold lip gloss. But I'm just going to use that same pigment. 
I'm wearing the Hot Cocoa Lip Liner by NYX. I'm just going to apply. This is my favorite lip. I never thought I would be a gloss girl, and I'm not. But this um, Urban Decay Lip Bond dries down, but it stays shiny. Not me doing the most intricate lip look when I'm in a rush. And I'm going to take a little bit of also this Sugar Pills Anti-Socialite and add it to the middle. I think that's the completed look. Let me put on my necklace real quick. I am going to have to finish my hair and put on my nails in the car. But this is the completed makeup. I do not regret anything. This looks better than I could have imagined. So let's go to the show. Right after Orat set, I ran into the guys from Twin Tribes. It was my first time meeting them. They were really sweet to take a photo with me. My day was already made by this point, but can you imagine my surprise when the next artist came on stage and performed with some original members of Christian Death to perform Spiritual Cramp? I did not like the Lost Boys stage at all. I watched Berlin or listened to them. I couldn't see anything. They didn't have any screens. After running over to these other stages, I wanted to cool off so we went into this little record store. They had some good records and some even better AC. So we got some ice cream and headed back over to make it in time for Twin Tribes.
I was not looking forward to running back to that Lost Boy stage, so this random bra hanging on the sign cheered me up, but you already know I had to run over there to even just hear Boy Harsher perform for a little bit. And we ran into this gorgeous exhibit featuring a lot of the artists that were playing at the festival. What I didn't know was that I was just gonna see one more band after this, Love and Rockets, and then I would have to come back the next day. There was a weather evacuation, so this is my last update for day one.
I didn't take any photos of my makeup for day two. Not really anyway. I spent most of the day in the car getting ready and napping, waiting for the lines to go down. I just wanted to get there and take it easy because man, I was so beat up. But my makeup was inspired by basically if Peter Sato made little emo bitches. Super 80s. I have one thing to add before Susie goes on and it's that she did start late. There was just like an overwhelming feeling of anxiety that came over the entire crowd. We were traumatized from the day before so that really freaked me out too. I don't usually get like that but overall I had so much fun at the festival and I would do it all again. She was so charismatic and funny and entertaining. A true icon. Sit with some nothing 
Thank you so much for watching this chaotic, cruel world video. I know it was all over the place, but it's a pretty good representation of what happened. <laughs> I feel so lucky to be in a time in goth where I could see all of my favorite dancing divas in one day or weekend. So if you'd like to see more of this from me, please make sure to interact with my content, 
like this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.